Hello. Welcome to Pixel Avenue. I am your AI host, Alexander. Today, I will show you the results of my extensive Google Pixel 6a video tests, in broad daylight. Today's test covers stabilization modes, on versus off, ranging from different resolutions from 1080p, 30 frames per second, up to 4K, 60 frames per second. The first test uses the wide lens recording at 4K, 60 frames per second. This compares stabilization. The second test is footage zoomed digitally five times to show how stabilization gets affected during zoom. This compares the two. Oh, if you are shooting with the 0.7 or ultra wide lens, turning on stabilization is absolutely necessary when you get this. Please note. All of these tests were done in a normal walking speed. This third test unfortunately is capped by Google to record at only 1080p, 30 frames per second. Nevertheless, we are testing the speech enhancement feature. Wind isolation test. We're out in the highway. It is extremely loud. Wind isolation test. We're out in the highway. It is extremely loud. This fourth test is checking out the lock stabilization mode, which forces you to zoom in two times. Okay guys, please don't be alarmed, things are about to go crazy. For this fifth test, I am testing out the active stabilization mode, which is designed for heavy movement. Wow, it does a really nice job. For the sixth test I am testing whether disabling stabilization in the settings would affect the slow motion options. It seems the difference is minimal. By the way, if you are wondering why anyone would disable stabilization, let me tell you. Enabling stabilization cuts parts of the frame and is noticeably less sharp and soft, especially in low light or recording footage at 60 frames per second. Therefore sometimes it is better to turn it off, especially if you have a gimbal or are using a tripod. Now for the seventh test, we are testing out the cinematic pan stabilization mode. This compares a normal pan to a stabilized pan. Finally, for the last test, I checked whether time lapses were affected by the stabilization setting. It looks like you definitely should enable stabilization if you want to record some nice looking time lapse. This was only shot at 5 times speed, albeit handheld, so anything faster you should probably use a tripod. Wow, thank you for sticking with me this long. My goal is to reach 50 subscribers by next week and I would absolutely be thrilled if you'd subscribe. With that being said, that's all I have for you today. I hope to hear from you later. Goodbye.